humans. And, uh, and so I'm hearing it really from the horse's mouth here. There's a lot of data and it's dangerous to summarize. I will anyway. Testosterone is, is helpful for some things, okay? Built, maintaining and building muscle mass, yes. Is that good for old men? Absolutely. Uh, we lose muscle mass all the time. Does it extend lifespan? Is it true? Anti-aging, is it slowing down the process? The answer there seems to be no. So it, it's in between. It's useful, it's helpful during, uh, but it's not an anti-aging medicine. And then the third thing I want to add is, you know, I, I work with a lot of people who come to me for advice, and um, often it's should I take testosterone. Um, I've seen some really good good uh, results naturally uh, building up testosterone levels, working on the larger muscles of the body, like your legs and your back. Tonkat Ali, for instance, is a, is a supplement that's been shown time and time again to raise testosterone. And speaking for myself, um, I naturally raise my own testosterone uh, through those means and don't have to take it. Uh, um, what was the supplement so yeah. you mentioned? Oh, Tonkat, T-O-N-G-K-A-T, and then A-L-I, uh, to South East Asian plant extract. And uh, it helps actually... Jay, yeah. do you have some kind of Southeast Asian insight into this? Well, yeah, because uh, this is what we usually take when we... Oh, so I'm from Malaysia, but uh, Tonkat Ali is what we usually advise people to take mm. in <laughs> Southeast Asia. That's why I'm like, oh, I know yeah. that name. It's very familiar. Check out my Summarized Longevity Secrets ebook. Yeah, well, the other thing that's becoming popular is taking low-dose Viagra or, you know, um, Sildenafil. These are... Um, nitric oxide donor medicines and low dose seems to be helpful in maintaining what's called endothelial function, your blood vessels, health, um, and that declines with age. And uh, it, it definitely will, not definitely, but it probably will help your sex life as well. The goal though is to keep your blood vessels youthful and, uh, and flowing. And so um, I'm currently trying that and uh, it does seem to give me the, seemingly the, the benefits of exercise without having to exercise a lot. Um, it's just my personal my personal experience. I can't say it's a clinical trial, but I did want to mention that because it, it, I've heard it from many doctors that this is a thing that they're looking into and advising their patients. It's so funny. I can't imagine taking low-dose Viagra in order to perform better at a chess tournament, for instance. It could help though. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying it out. You know, I I'm, I'm like to experiment, see what works and what doesn't. But yeah, that's something that, you know, it's got this stigma because it's an erectile dysfunction drug, but really it was developed to help with uh, blood flow in the beginning. And uh, my mother was on it actually because she had lung cancer and one lung removed. And I remember trying to get Viagra for my mother and getting all these pop-up ads on my computer for Viagra. Uh -huh. And I was thinking, it's not for me, but you know, never say never.